morning everyone. So uh, my name is Xiao Donghui. I come from Microsoft. Uh, this is uh, Today I'm going to talk about the Stack Attention Network for image question answering. This is a joint work with my intern Zhi Chao Yang and my, uh, our colleague Jen Feng Li and, Li and uh, Alex. So unfortunately Zhi Chao is not able to come because of some travel issues. So I'm going to deliver the talk today. So first what is about uh, image question answering. So naturally, which means so uh, naturally, image question answering means we want to answer our natural language questions according to the content of our image. So for example, given such... So why is it keep moving? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so given an image and given a question like this, we actually hope we can build an image question answering machine which actually can refer the answer of this question could be uh, docs, for example. That's the setting of the question answering for image. So it sounds like an interesting um, task and actually could be used for, to, for example, help the human to uh, which have some um, a blending issue, um, wishing issue and to understand what is happening around. Then, but the question for this uh, question answering task is that we need to understand the subtle and the complex relationship among multiple objects. And also we need to focus on the specific regions rather than the whole picture so we can refer, infer the answers, because most of the time the answer only relevant to a sort of part of the whole picture. Therefore, we need to perform some multiple steps of reasoning so to uh, infer the answer. For example, in the first step, we hope we can focus on the region which are relevant to the question in the image. For example, all the concepts mentioned in the question. Then in the second step, we hope we can narrow down to the region as like really relevant to the answer and then um, Depress other parts which are not relevant, and this give you give us more preci preci um, precise inference to the answer. In order to perform this multiple step reasoning, we propose a new model called Stacked Attention Network. So in this work, uh, this is high level architecture of this network. Uh, given the image and given the question as the input, we go through four actually uh, steps. We first code the, in the question use a question model, then we call the image, use another image model, and then at the core of the model, actually, for, this is uh, how we call the question. Then we, the image model will code the image to be a set of special features. Then we use a multi-level attention model to um, model the interaction between the re uh, question feature and the vision features. And then eventually, we, derive, uh, we deliver the feature to our uh, answer predictor to predict the final answer. So the image model in our case is actually quite simple. Thanks to the VGG, we take the last layer of the convolution net, uh, which contains the special inf information about the, about the image as our feature set. For the question, which is a natural language sentence, we use a quite simple LSTM to code the uh, question. We just fit in the word in the question one by one, and then we take the last layer of the LSTM as the feature for the question which is supposed to contain the semantic and the syntactic structure. As an alternative, we can also actually code the question using a, a convolution network. In this convolution network, we use a sliding window to uh, scan over the whole question, and then we extract different uh, local information and then do a global pooling to construct a global semantic feature that represent these questions. Then we go to the stacked attention network. And the first, we compute the first layer of attention. For example, suppose we start with this uh, special, uh, special image feature set from the convolution network. And also we have this um, semantic vector for the question, which is VQ. Then we first compute their association among the vector of the question and all the regional image feature and then we compute the attention map, and which we call a uh, first layer of attention map. This one basically captures the correlation between the question, which is, uh, uh, for example, all the entities mentioned in the question, and all the different regions in the image. And we highlight the part which is mainly mentioned in the questions, in the first layer of attention. Then we compute the aggregate weighted sum of the image feature, and then together with the question feature, we perform a simple multimodal pooling at the level of one, and we deliver a pooled um, joint image and text features. 
Further, we fit this text and the image joint feature to the next level of attention models. So in the next attention model, we start from the previous level of the, uh, attention feature vectors, we call it a query vector. Then we go back to the original image, and then we compute the second layer of the attention models. In this layer, we want the model to, follow, to further nail down to the region that are actually more important to inform the uh, answers. And then we suppress the information from other regions of the picture, so we can suppress the noise. And we perform the same uh, aggregation of the image features and perform the second level of the multimodal pooling and get a new uh, uh, query vector. And uh, this process can go on and you can go to the next level of attention models. But in our implementation, we found two levels of attention network actually works quite well for the task we are evaluating. So then we fit, when instead of the next level of attention model, we fit this, uh, the, max, the multi model point feature vectors to the answer predicted directly. So in the answer prediction, uh, in our case, it's quite a simple one layer neural network. For example, get the feature from the previous uh, static attention network, we fit it into a, a W, which then goes to a softmax, and we directly get the answer. So in this case, instead of generated answer, actually, uh, the whole answer set contains about four, um, 400 possible candidates, and then it's become a classification problem, like 400 class classification problem. And then we pick the answer, of course, with the largest probability. So then we event actually we event our model on a set of benchmarks for image question answering, including the visual question answering, the VQA, and the many other benchmarks like the Coco QA and the, the Royal. So I present the uh, VQA results here um, because this, these are actually open uh, evaluation hosted by the organizers and the people actually can compare different methods on this benchmark. So compared to the previous method, the new model actually improved the performance significantly. And if you look into the breakdown results, uh, you can find the major, com the major improvements come from the other category. And if you check the website, the other category uh, are more about what is or what color, something like that. And uh, for that category, actually, we improve uh, from a previous baseline, which used a global feature for question and a global feature for image by almost 10% in that category. And uh, for the other two categories, actually, we improve uh, not that much. For example, for the number, and yes, no, we improve just a little bit. And this is actually also a trend if you look at other results, uh, other previous models. So including fine granite image feature looks improve a lot for the other category, and they have uh, just slight impact on other two categories. So in the next uh, in case, we also investigate what's the impact of having multiple layer of attention models. So in this case, we have four kind, kind of settings, uh, including using one or two level of uh, attention models, and also shall we use uh, LSTM or use convolution network to encode the question. So in this case, we can find uh, STM and CNN based encoding of the question give similar results compared to each other. And if you compare to the second level attention network, which is the first level attention network, actually there are quite uh, observable improvements, like more than one point improvements, absolutely. So then and actually we dig into the examples, dig into the data, and see what actually the model learned. Although, because at the beginning, we designed the model with multiple layers of attention model, and we, uh, we provide this capacity. And then we let the model to learn end to end to see if the model can actually do the, um, the multi-level perception, a uh, multi-level reasoning as we hope. For example, uh, in this case, we show that in many examples, we do observe such uh, interesting behavior. For example, the most obvious case is actually, uh, for example, in the bird in the left corner. So that at the beginning, uh, because the question mentioned the handlebar and the bicycle and the thing sitting on that, then in the first attention layer, uh, the model focuses on the bicycle handlebar and the stuff sitting on top of it. Then in the second layer, actually, the model learned to ignore the bicycle handlebar and more focus on the object which is in question, and eventually to do, uh, refer the model like a, uh, the bird. 
So that's, uh, this similar uh, behavior happens in many other questions and many other images. Like the first one, um, what is putting a man in the wagon, we first pay attention on all the major objects and ignore the background. And then, then in the second layer, actually, we focus on the animal, actually, we want to refer the, uh, infer the answer. And also another example, like the how many people are, um, are going up uh, in the mountain. At the first, um, as the first layer of the attention model, we focus on the mountain and all the cloud stuff, all the cloud in the back end. And in the second layer, actually, we more focus on just a group of people. Uh, of course, we also saw many error cases. That's why we don't get 100% accurate. So we do some error analysis. We found for most of the time, we actually can pay good attention on the, on the picture, but we for example, only 22% of the time we actually pay wrong attention. That means more, about 18% of the time where our attention is at a re, uh, the right region. But 42% uh, uh, of the time, actually, we predict wrong predictions. Even our uh, focus is correct. And then there's a, actually a bunch of errors. Uh, we call the ambiguous answers. Oh, by the way, so this is on the Coco query, not on the WeQuery set. So I just specify the data set. Uh, Coco uh, query is another data set developed by Toronto. Uh, and then there's another set which is uh, about label errors. And here are some examples. For example, in the picture A, we pay the right attention on the dark, but, I, but somehow we also pay attention more on the bulk, and then let's give us some errors. And then for the second one, for example, this lady is eating a banana. Uh, we pay the right attention on the banana. And then, but unfortunately, our models think it's more like a donut, probably because of the shape. And there's other things like there's a was in the picture, but we predict a was, but actually the answer is pot. And there's another errors in the labeling as well. For example, it is should be a train in the uh, image F, which is under the uh, bridge. We predict a train, but somehow the answer, the ground truth answer is car. So back to, and there's many other relevant paper in this field, actually in this, just in this conference. For example, and you will see more and more probably uh, in the coming future, in the coming days. And uh, as a summary for the last minute, so, we have seen a lot of work, interesting work in image captioning since last year and actually two years ago. But then when we move from caption to question answering, there are many new challenges. For example, we need to understand the very subtle link shape of the objects. We also want to focus on a particular region rather than the whole picture so we can infer the actual answer. In this case, we motivated by this new challenge, actually we propose a new model. We try to use multi-layer, multi-level of attention network to infer the answer more progressively. And also we try to, actually this model can provide more uh, clear visual grounded reasoning which necessary for the vision question answering tasks. And here are some examples, and we have code shared on the GitHub. Thanks.